Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to record video on one of your VirtualBox virtual machines. And the reason you might want to do this is, let's say you want to demonstrate a certain procedure and then you want to be able to send a kind of a training video to somebody, you could do that pretty easily. So the first thing you should probably do is go check the recording settings by going to the VirtualBox manager, choosing that VM, clicking on settings, going to display, and then recording. And if you click the enable recording, you could actually change them. You could decide if you want to do video only or video and audio or audio only. And then the path where it's going to put the file is going to be the same location as your virtual machine files. You could change it if you like. And it's going to give it the name of your virtual machine plus WBM at the end of it. That's their type of video file. And you should be able to play that with many different video players. And so if you want to, you know, change the video frame size or frame rate, you know, and increase the quality, you could do so. Same with the audio quality. And if you have more than one monitor attached to VM, you could pick which one you want to record. So just keep in mind, the higher the quality, the higher the, uh, or larger the file size. So if you're sending that off in an email, I don't know if you're going to be able to do that anyway. So if you want to keep the file size low, don't go too crazy here. And if you click OK, it's going to automatically start recording, which I think is kind of stupid, but that's how it works. So I usually click Cancel, but if you make changes, obviously you're going to want to click OK, otherwise they're not going to apply. So I'm just going to leave the defaults, and there's two ways you could start it. You could go down here to this video camera here, and right-click it, and click on Recording. Or go to the View menu, and then click on Recording. Then it's going to start recording. You could see the little film reel icon turning there. And then from there, you could just, you know, do what you need to do. We'll just open some things for an example here. So when you're done recording, you could right click here and uncheck recording or go to view and click on recording. And then if you go back to your location where your virtual machine files are, there's the file. So that's 915 kilobytes for just that short little video and then you could double click it to open it with your default video player and as you can see it's a video of what we did there and so now if you were to go back and make another video just stop it real quick Go back, you'll see it makes a new video, but much larger file name. I don't know why it just doesn't put, you know, dash two or something at the end, but you could always, you know, right click it and rename it and whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, do as you will with that. So once again, just check your settings from the VM, from the settings, display, recording, and adjust them there if needed. And then just start it from down here on the little toolbar, you can right click that to start it or from the view menu and then your files will be in your directory where your virtual machine files are with .webm on them. And then that's all you got to do. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.